Hi everyone. Um, forgive my the way I look. <laughs> I look like that all the time. Anyway, um, I am doing a um, some little croissants here, just for snacks for after dinner. And I was thinking, well, maybe I'll do something kind of a uh, Thanksgiving-ish. So if they turn out okay, then I'll do them again for my family's uh, dinner. I don't know which where to look. I guess right here, right here. I don't know. Okay, so um, I've already started this. But I thought, well, this is a really great idea, so I think it's going to turn out pretty good. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you what I'm doing, and then I'll show you when they're done. All right, so what I took is some uh, cream cheese, and as you can see, it's about a, a fourth of the cream cheese. And I used one packet of croissant, uh, these little croissant rolls, and it's it makes eight of them. So if you get a, qu a quarter of that, uh, it'll be good enough for four, for eight of them, sorry. And then I had some pumpkin pie mix. Not pumpkin puree, but the pie, pumpkin pie mix. And if you see my other videos, you know that I like to use that one because it's already got all the flavoring, the nutmegs, and et cetera in there. And then I got some walnuts, and I've crushed them up in this little bag. And I've got some dried sweetened cranberries right in there. Okay, so what I did is I took about a quarter of that, and I took about a tablespoon or two of the pumpkin, and I've been mixing it up in here. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting a, a dollop in there. Well, first of all, before I do that, I was actually stretching this out a little bit to the sideways. And then I got some, a uh, little bit of the walnuts, a little bit of the craisins in there. And then I'm going to roll it up so that I have them rolled up like these. Just like a little regular croissant. But what I did is I got these little edges, folded them over, and then pinched right here to make sure that, um, you know, whatever's inside doesn't come out. So just pinch them like that, and then just gently roll them over. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, and this is a just a piece of foil. You can use your, you know, your baking little baking pan or little cookie pan, whatever. I've sprayed it a little bit just to make sure nothing sticks to it. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top, and uh, whatever I have left of these uh, walnut, like the little sprinkle little pieces there. Mash them up a little bit more, and then just sprinkle it on top. Bake it at 350 for about 18, well actually I think it says 12 to 14 minutes, so I'm going to go by that. And then once they're done, I'll show you what they look like. Alright, here they are, out of the oven. They've got a nice little golden brown. It only took uh, 12 minutes is what I put the oven for at 350. Okay, let's see what it looks like inside. Cut it open. There you go. It's right in there. I'd probably give them another couple of minutes to bake. There's the filling, the cream cheese and pumpkin. And now it's going to be time to try them. I hope you enjoy this quick little recipe and uh, that you'll try it because I think um, this will be fun. I think it needs another, maybe another two minutes in the oven and they'll be done. And uh, I believe the cream cheese and the uh, pumpkin together are delicious. I did take a little taste test of my little mix over here. As you can see, I have a little bit left over. So that filled up the uh, the quantities that I told you did fill up eight of them. So there you go. So if you want to do more than that, then uh, double or triple it or whatever you need. And instead of the 12 minutes, let's do them uh, maybe 14, 16 minutes baking time. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and uh, give me a big old thumbs up. Thank you and enjoy.